one of the dark sides of uh, Switzerland. Living, mm -hmm. he had been married, mm -hmm. he had children. Huh? Of course, you don't enjoy it. You get bothered. Yes. And if you are too far away, dark side of um, Indonesia, I would say people believe in. All right, guys, back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to have a very interesting discussion. You know that Swiss is a country, a small country, has a very beautiful panorama, panoramic view, you know, and uh, these are um, available online everywhere. You, you might have seen this a lot, and it's of course, it's very interesting. But this is not the thing that I'm going to discuss with my guest. I'm going to talk about the dark side of Switzerland and Indonesia. So, on my right hand side is Kaka Martin, or in Java we call it Mas Martin, or in French Martin. Alors Martin, please introduce yourself. Hello guys, salut les amis. Salamat pagi, walk to Swiss, teman teman. Uh, so I'm Martin. Uh, I live in Geneva, uh, but I have close connection with Indonesia as my wife is from Indonesia, from Ambon in Eastern Indonesia. So I've been staying there. Uh, I have been there maybe 20, 25 times wow. and sometimes I have stayed uh, longer in, in some places like in Ambon I stayed maybe one year there. Yeah, right. Yeah. By the way guys, I forgot to say that we have a YouTube channel with my wife. The name is Martin Petra. You just type Martin Petra Indonesia and then you can uh, see our videos. The very famous couple. Jangan lupa like, comment, subscribe! Don't forget that, guys! Subscribe. <laughs> That's a, very interesting. You've been there for, let's say, 20, more than 25 times? I think so, yeah. I think and so, yeah. about yeah, yeah. a year living in, in Ambon. Yes, exactly. And when it comes to Switzerland, I was born in Geneva, so I can also talk about uh, Switzerland. <laughs> That's a great thing. This, yeah. is what, this is what I would like to know more. Yeah. And perhaps the, you guys also are keen to understand what is actually, or what are the, the actual dark side of Switzerland. <laughs> and dark side of Indonesia too. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but uh, before we jump up into that one, I'd like to, um, uh, to highlight first, Mas Martin, that this discussion is based on our living life experience. Yes. And also, I, I myself also read some articles about the dark side of Switzerland and also Indonesia, as I am Indonesian, so I know by heart. And Mas Martin. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah. Me too. Like, uh, you know, uh, I think when, it, when we see countries from outside, mm -hmm. uh, it always looks nice and always looks perfect, and because we see the stereotypes. Yeah, exactly. And when we, once we. We, we arrive inside the countries, yes, it's different song. We all know, we all know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, without further ado, my friends, let's get started after this break. Alright, speaking about the dark side of Indonesia, and the dark side of Switzerland. I'm really uh, curious. It's, it's a broad uh, discussion anyway. Uh, we can talk from politics, from social life, but uh, we just talk randomly so that you guys can follow um, our discussion nicely, right? So, um, first I'd like to uh, give a question to Mas Martin. Yes. Maybe you guys want to know the dark side of Switzerland. So, uh, Martin. Yeah. Mas Martin, Kaka Martin. Do you have an um, example of a dark side of Switzerland so that people, I, I know a bit, but maybe what I know is different from what uh, he knows. So yes. let's let him uh, explain. Okay, so um, I know that Switzerland has a very good reputation and I think that when it comes to international indicators, indexes, yeah. it's maybe number one in the world. But when you live here, Many people say that it's a boring country mm -hmm. and where it's very difficult to make real uh, social relations. Mm -hmm. And I can give you one example, something that happened in Switzerland that really reveals the dark side of Switzerland. Something that could have not happened in Indonesia, 
and something that is really, it's like a nightmare story. Like, uh, do you have an example? Yes. 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 Okay. So, uh, maybe seven, eight years ago in Geneva, yeah. they uh, found a man in mm -hmm. his uh, apartment mm -hmm. and he had died three years before that. Three years before? Three years before that. Oh, and, okay. And, and you know, this, this guy had friends, mm -hmm. he had been married, mm -hmm. he had children, and right. no one cared about him right. for three years. So he died alone, oh. and uh, nobody cared. And uh, because he had a permanent payment order on his account, everything was paid. Right. And at some point, the account was empty, so they start the process to kick him out from his house. Okay. But this process takes about two years. Uh -huh. And then, one day they arrive to say, Sir, you have to go out. And he was dead three years before that. No one cared. Oh, the neighbor didn't care. The family didn't care. The friend didn't care. Who did happen in Indonesia? It, it could also happen in Indonesia. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, it could happen. But it's very likely yeah. not. Yeah. Because um, the thing is in Indonesia, guys, we all know that we are, you know, we, we live in a collective way. And the dark side of what Mas Martin just explained to you is, you know, resembles the independent. You know, they are very independent. So uh, the, the Swiss, perhaps this is one of the dark sides of uh, Switzerland, living alone as, uh, even though there's neighbors, they really don't uh, uh, care. I mean, I would say they really don't care each other because they are very independent. They don't, they don't really uh, uh, like get to know uh, each other or curious or helping each other like the one you guys know in Indonesia. We right. all want to know what's, the, what's going on in, 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 the in the neighborhood, like you're always curious, but here not at all. This yeah, my, my friend, I love the way you try to turn it positively. You say they are very independent and yes, we are very independent, but you, can, you could also say alone. Yeah. Very, very alone. Very, very and and uh, when you are young, when you have a work, it's okay. You, you because you're inside the active life, economic, economy wants you to go out, to work. Yeah. They force you to have social relations. But this man, he, had, he was already retired. He was like uh, 65, 70. Okay. And after that, no you know, after that, when you are not useful for the economy, yeah. the, the, the system simply throws oh you out. Oh my God! Uh, right. Not every, not all the person, of yes. course, and this is an extreme example I took. Okay. But many, many, many people they live alone without uh, social connections, without social relations, mm -hmm. and yes, you know, dark side, bright side. Yes. You you try to turn it positively. You say uh, uh, independence. independence, and I I, I, I go langsung to the dark side, loneliness. Well, yes, <laughs> I, I could say this is already, you see guys, we are different, yeah, from each other, which is good, right? I say independent and he said directly alone. <laughs> this is good, but this, no, no, nothing is bad actually, yeah. But, but now I could ask you a question. Yes. So please. what would be in Indonesia, because I see it very positively in Indonesia, the fact that people have many relations, Mm -hmm. with each other mm -hmm. and what would be for you the dark side of this close uh, relationship in Indonesia? Well, this is nice question. Thank you <laughs> for the question. I might, uh, uh, but perhaps this is very common, you know, secret that people uh, might already know, you know. Um, what uh, the dark side of having a close relation or close, um, yeah, I would say relation between neighbor, friends, uh, they are very curious. Yeah, they are very, very curious what you have until like your personal life, and which is not uh, going to happen in Switzerland, guys. This is and juga orang kepo. <laughs> kepo, but ke in certain way, it's not that very kepo like what uh, we have in Indonesia. But guys, if you know that what, uh, if you know that my statement is not correct, then you can put a comment below, right? But in my view, in my view, man, it's um, you know, people in Indonesia when you get to know each other very well, um, they they 
you know, they want to be with you all the time if yeah. you are getting a very close friends, yeah. no matter uh, what the genders are. Yeah. Um, they want to be close to you, they want to go together wherever you want to go. Oh. So, right? So you don't have like this, uh, private things that you want to do by yourself, right? Okay. So this the dark side having um, um, close, not, uh, not collectivism, I would say. Collectivism is that you don't have a space for your own. You know what I mean? So, uh, your friends are really curious about what you are doing and uh, really curious what you have and somehow they, they are jealous. Okay. This is the dark side of uh, what I think in Indonesia of being a collectivism. Okay, so now it's interesting so, because we completely exchange roles. Yeah. So, what I see positively as close relationships you see it negatively, or like from the dark perspective, yeah. as uh, invasion. Like you have no personal life. Yeah, yeah. I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? I would say like this. But you guys can put the comment if you disagree with what I think. So maybe the truth is in between. The truth is in... No, it, actually, I myself position myself. If, yeah. I, if I get to know a person uh, nicely, or well, I get to know, but I know my limit. Yeah. Uh, I'm not... For example, I'm not going to send an email or send a message every time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or asking help every time. Oh, when it, oh, let's go here, let's go there together all the time. No. Yeah. But I will keep space. This is your life or this is my life. So we have a risk. I, I respect your time, yeah. your private time, yeah, yeah, private yeah. life. Okay. Then the, I, I will not bother you. That's so you it. try yeah. to balance to find the right distance. Exactly. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have interesting theory about that because, you know, so. You are from Indonesia, mm -hmm. I'm from Switzerland. So in these countries, we are no foreigners. You live in Geneva, mm -hmm. so you are not foreigner in Geneva. And I have been staying many times in Indonesia, so I don't consider completely uh, myself in, in, as a foreigner in Indonesia. Even though your relation with Geneva uh, and Switzerland is much closer than mine with Indonesia. Because you have been spending much more time here. Yes, yes, but, yes. Yeah. but uh, it reminds me a uh, Hindi saying. This Hindi saying, uh -huh. uh, I will say it in Hindi and then I explain it in English. Okay. Durket hall suhane lakte hai. It means. Which means, yeah. It, which means uh, you enjoy the drum mm -hmm. only from far. Okay. And the meaning is that if you put your ear against the drum, uh -huh. of course, you don't enjoy it. You get bothered. Yes. And if you are too far away from the drum, yeah. you have you don't even listen to it. All right. But you have to find the right distance from the drum. Right. Uh, and when we arrive in a country, and it has been for me always like that, all the time. I arrive in the country, first I see only the positive things. Okay. Because I'm far away from the drum. Oh, which is good, which is good. Um, um, just like as a tourist or as a traveler, but uh, enjoying things. Mm -hmm. And then the more you know about the country, then you get closer to the drum. And then sometimes it becomes sanctidaina. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but yet I prefer okay. being close to things yeah. uh, to see both sides okay. than uh, than uh, being far away just as a tourist and understanding nothing, okay. just seeing the post In, Okay, enjoying only the good time, the good things, yeah. the good sides. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Uh, this is also a very interesting point of view. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, um, I'm gonna move on. Uh, to another uh, dark side of Indonesia, maybe you guys haven't known also this one, in Javanas. Yeah. Mostly in Indonesia, uh, the dark side of um, Indonesia, I would say, people believe in spirit. They tend to go to uh, those guys, the traditional healer, then going to be a medicine or a, a doctor. So this is the dark side of Indonesia and many people in Indonesia believe those people, mm -hmm. the traditional here, to cure mm -hmm. certain disease or most of the disease for example. Okay, so you don't talk about Tahir, you talk about Ta is, traditional... It is Tahayul I would say also, um, it's, a, it's a traditional way. Well, there are certain things I believe in spirit, mm -hmm. but to cure my, for example, if I have a disease and then I go to the traditional healer to cure my disease, well, it's, it's, it's nothing to do with the spirit things. Mm. It's um, uh, based on the scientific. It's, I have, for example, my sister uh, had a cancer, for example. 
yeah. then uh, she, go, she went to uh, the traditional here, which is nonsense, right? So many Indonesians mm -hmm. uh, believe in this kind of traditional here than going to the uh, uh, specialist yeah. that knows well what, how to treat the people yeah. who uh, uh, are dealing with the disease. You know? okay. So this is, uh, you guys probably uh, know this one. Common, common uh, uh, secret. <laughs> yeah, but so, you know, in Switzerland, most people they would go to like scientific doctor. Yeah. I mean, like academic doctor who mm -hmm. follow university who works yeah. in a hospital. Yeah. But then you would be surprised the number of people uh, trying now to take distance from this uh, medicine medical science mm -hmm. because they say that uh, these um, doctors. Not all of them, mm -hmm. but many of them, uh, they are just like kind of drug sellers. Okay. They, their job is to give you medicine, pills, obat. A prescription? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And especially in Switzerland, because you know, in Switzerland, as you know, you have been staying in Basel. Yeah. We have like huge uh, pharma sector. Without mentioning the name, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we will not advertise for these guys. They, okay. they, they do. They do a lot of good job. Okay. I would definitely not, not say that, uh, mm -hmm. that uh, academic science, academic medicine uh, is not good. Yeah. And if, I, if now, right now, I collapse, please call the ambulance, don't call the traditional uh, healer. healer. Okay. Yes, yeah. but you know, uh, now the difference, 20, 30 years ago, mm -hmm. there was a clear border between uh, traditional uh, healers and uh, modern. and modern healers. Yeah. Now the border becomes really uh, moving, and I will give you one another example yeah. that shows you that. Yeah, Maf, yes, sorry, yes, Maf. Yes, yes. Before going to have uh, the example, yeah. Before going to uh, uh, before uh, before giving you guys an example, uh, I'm gonna check this out first. So guys, now back to my channel. So let uh, Mas Martin or Kaka Martin. Uh, or oh, Martin. <laughs> yeah, to give uh, to give to give an example as uh, he explained before. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So, so years ago, it's, it's, a, it's a sign, just like wearing a Rolex at yeah. your arm. <laughs> hey, but all the infrastructure in the village, ah, oh, it's deteriorating our future generations. And I'm gonna ask whether this Kaka and 